This tutorial is part of our full stack React Django DRF channels project, DJ Chat. You can watch this tutorial and many more from our YouTube course playlist, or the whole course, including access to additional resources from our Udemy course. The Udemy course link, which provides the best price for the course, is in the video description. Now, you probably have already started to explore ChatGBT, but if you haven't, then it's well worth taking a look here. Something that we can use ChatGPT for, particularly with small scripts such as this, as of ChatGPT uh, version 4, is we could go ahead and just copy this. Let's uh, take this into ChatGPT and ask it to create some code, create code comments. Create code comments, paste in our code, and take a look at what it's produced. Um, I'm not entirely really sure what's happening there. Um, okay. Um, at the top here, it's uh, not quite functioned correctly, but that's okay. We don't necessarily need any comments there, but you can see what's happening here. It is starting to comment our code, which can be really useful. If you're, again, if you're new to development and you just wanted to remind yourself, if you go back and start reading your code, um, this is going to give you a good starting point as to, I'll just copy that. It's going to give you a good starting point and help you memorize or remember what's happening in your code should you go back to the code. So it's going to start from query set server object all. So just uh, paste that into, I think there. There we go. So it's uh, nicely commented now um, so that you can maybe follow it slightly differently. You need to be careful here with uh, indentation. You can see that the indentation has been changed slightly and that can probably cause a little bit of confusion. Uh, so that's one of the drawbacks, particularly if you're new to development and you haven't quite grasped the concept of indentation here in Python. Now, of course, you can use ChatGPT to also explain or make comments for smaller sections of code or just simply explain functions or features of the code that you weren't too sure what um, what they're doing or what they mean or how to use them. Now, these comments here probably aren't going to be very useful when or even when you start working in a an environment creating production code, because let's be honest, we probably don't need to make a comment to identify this is a query for querying the server um, data from the database. So in the probably unlikely event you haven't started utilizing ChatGBT to support and help the development your development, um, then maybe have a, a quick look at utilizing it to help support you creating comments.